This is our talk on the model analysis of blood flows in brain aneurysm. Inflow jet is a very important characteristic of brain aneurysm because it can be used to quantify blood flow dynamics inside the brain aneurysm as well as determine the way to treat aneurysm. However, understanding the inflow jet is difficult because the current technology cannot distinguish between these fine scale flow structures due to the spatial and temporal resolution of in vivo data. In the past, we have shown that the dynamics of uh, blood flow inside and brain aneurysm is governed by this positivity of the flow. And we have shown that this formation of a vortex ring inside this aneurysm is the result of the interaction between uh, geometry and possibility of the flow. And so we need to quantify the flow unsteadiness. However, because the spatial and temporal resolution of this in vivo data, it is very important to do so. To do so. We collaborate with Sanford Health, and in this case, we uh, reconstruct this brain aneurysm geometry from patient-specific data of Sanford. And from that, we uh, create this anatomical model, and uh, from this, we prescribe this boundary condition to our high-resolution simulations. And from this, because the simulation is very highly uh, resolved, we can uh, reconstruct uh, the solution, basically quotienting solution uh, to the solution of this in vivo data. And we can examine the accuracy of the solution across these different uh, uh, spatial and temporal scale. In this case, we're using uh, proper octagonal decomposition, the POD, to analyze these changes in the distribution of the energy across the uh, spectrum. And so we are able to uh, recontract these modes in the spectrum and identify this uh, location of this mode within this aneurysm. And we show that there are four, typically four modes that are dominant in the flow. And by identifying this mode, we can identify these, the important, and also we can identify the mechanism that lead to this mode formation. And we found that this formation of vortex ring is the result, uh, is the reason that, uh, you know, give rise to these different kind of modes. So in this case, we show that our technique can be uh, used to characterize blood flow in brain aneurysm and it's a very promising technique and future work. We need to explore this potential use of uh, this spectrum in characterizing brain aneurysm flow. Thank you.